Hello, and welcome to the Heart Wisdom Podcast with Ralph McIntyre, where we explore the wisdom that comes through the open and connected heart. Well, we're on to episode 10. You know that old saying, you can't put a square peg in a round hole? I want to talk about feelings. I want to talk about reflections. I want to talk about interactions. So often when we interact with people on a close personal relationships, either as friends or as lovers, we get to see a reflection back from the other person, a reflection of ourself and their actions. And this is where it gets kind of interesting because so often the people we manifest in our lives their wounds, their idiosyncrasies, their issues seem to fit our wounds, our idiosyncrasies, our issues like a glove. And I don't mean like a glove as in like good, but as in a glove like their wounds light my wounds up or my wounds light their wounds up. The way they deal with their wounds light, the way, light me up. And here's the reflection. This is the reflection part, because so often it's easy to point the finger at the other person. Stop doing that rather than to see it as a reflection of yourself. And so often we try to fill that square hole with the round peg or the round hole with the square peg. And this is where I kind of jump into the fifth dimensional realm because I find that so often so much of the issues that happen in the physical realm in that 3D realm are really issues that are coming forward from the fifth dimensional realm, the feeling realm, the energy realm, the karmic realm. And so if you try to fill a karmic issue with a physical peg, it's the same thing. So just think about it. If you have an issue that's coming forward from karma, from the feeling, from the energetic realm, and you try to fill it with a person or any physical object or any physical thing, well, it's back to that old saying, you can't put a square peg in a round hole. And this is where it gets so difficult because the feeling, the need manifests as a physical need. Oh, I just want a connection, you know, just want to go hang out with my friend and feel like I have family. I want to cuddle with my lover and feel like I mean something that I'm connected. I want to be seen. I want my friends to see me. I want my family to see me and understand me. I want my lover to see me and understand me. These all seem like physical needs. They sure do. And you should be able to find some human that can fill them. I mean, come on, we need to be seen. We need to be held. We need to be loved. We need to be connected. That's all physical realm. But what's the sick, twisted joke about it is we manifest all these people that seem to light up that need and not be able to fill it in the way we need it to be filled. They do all these things the wrong way. If only they could change, my life would be so much better. This is where if you kind of see it as a reflection, if you see the energy, the feeling as a reflection, if you lose the story, if you lose the blame and you sit in the feeling, and rather than try to fill that square peg or fill that square hole with a round peg, rather than try to fill that spiritual karma need with a physical peg, fill it with the spiritual peg. So here's how this works. I suspect that every one of us that are listening to this podcast and pretty much everyone that's breathing 
has an interaction with a friend or a close one that kind of rubs them a little wrong. It's like only if they could be different. And this is kind of, if you look at this as a reflection, if you take the other person out and you look at the feeling, if you get into the feeling and you lose the story and you see it as a reflection of a spiritual whole and breathe into it, feel into it, sit into it, let go of the real life story of your friend or of your lover, of your partner, of your mother, your siblings, or your kids, or your boss, or whoever the manifestation, whoever you're manifesting in the physical world to hold this mirror. Just let go of all that. Because the more you focus on that, the, the less likely you're going to focus on what you need to do to integrate these energetic feelings. Instead, if you focus on the rawness of the feeling, free of all the stories, f see where it sits in your body and breathe into it and imagine that you're breathing in that pure consciousness from the base of your skull and filling that need with the energy, the divine energy. I'm really big into Jesus these days, so I'll use the Jesus energy, but the divine energy or whatever kind of spiritual energy you want to bring in. The pure divine source energy is another good one. So you breathe in, you sit in the feeling, and you fill it with that pure divine source energy. Rather than thinking you're going to fill it with that physical object, the person, the thing, the interaction, sit in it and allow it to just be raw and real and breathe that pure divine source energy into it. And just let it be. Sit in the uncomfortableness. And this is really where some really powerful wisdom will come through. Because those feelings generally unlock some powerful wisdom. And it gets all polluted with the noise of the mirror, of the person, of the story. Oh, if only this person... That's like noise, chatter that's keeping you from the true gold of the situation. So the more you can let go of that story, sit in the feeling. And one of my favorite things to do, because quite often as you start to do this, you'll find some common themes. That you may have several different interactions with different people or different situations. But if you let go of the story, you'll find that the underlying feeling it's pretty much the same. And that's where the gold is. If you can f distill the situation, the feeling, lose all the story and get down to that core underlying feeling and breathe into it, sit in the uncomfortableness of it, allow it to be perfect. Realize that what's making it uncomfortable is the stories that you're putting on top of it. If you lose the stories, it's just raw energy. It doesn't have to be good, bad, uncomfortable, comfortable. Those are all labels and things we put on it. It's just raw, pure energy. And the more you can breathe into it, the more you can sit in it in its raw form and not put labels on and fill it with that pure divine source energy, the limitlessness. You know, there's an unlimited amount of energy that we can pull in from the divine and fill any need we have. And this is a trick by filling the spiritual need with a spiritual practice, filling it, you know, that energetic need with the pure divine source energy you'll find that that'll ripple into the three dimension, that those issues won't, you won't be manifesting the same type of people because you won't need that reflection. 
you know, spirit, the source, the synchronicity of life. They bring the people into your life to, to shine a light on the issue that you're needing to work on in the moment. And the more you can see every interaction as you're in your life in that way, the quicker you can move through it, the quicker you can integrate that feeling, the quicker you can distill it down to the core feelings. So if you think of everything as a reflection, as the divine shining a light on an issue that you need to integrate from the fifth dimension, from the karmic realm, from the unexpressed feeling realm, and not get caught up with how it manifests in the physical world. The physical expression is really an avatar, has nothing to do with the feeling, the energy, the fifth dimensional work that needs to happen. So my favorite thing to do is you just sit there, you let go of all the stories, you breathe in that pure divine source energy, and just imagine it filling that need you know, if you think of it as an energetic hall and you're just filling it with pure divine source energy and sit in the energy of it. Don't let it be uncomfortable. Don't be all, don't have issue if it is uncomfortable. You know, if it's uncomfortable, it doesn't feel good. Be all right with it. Don't put any extra stories on it. So that's what I find I struggle with this often. I'll always be sitting in an uncomfortable feeling. And then my mind just takes a hold of it and puts all these stories on it. Usually it's about doom and gloom about myself and the worthiness and all these things that have nothing to do with the rawness of the feeling. And the more I can focus on letting go of those, the more I can breathe into it and fill that whole that energetic need with pure divine source energy the quicker it integrates into my life the quicker the physical reality of my life changes and that's the trick it's part of what this hot podcast is all about is really unlocking the wisdom behind the feelings that come through your heart and the more you connect with another person the deeper your connection with the other person, the deeper you're going into the well of wisdom of the heart and these feelings. And quite often, it can seem uncomfortable. The stories you put on it make it even more uncomfortable. But the more you focus on it, the more you focus on the rawness of the energy, the more you let go of the stories, the easier it becomes. The more you can see it all as a reflection and also to stay focused on where you're going. Remember that the more you can open your heart and connect to another, the happier you tend to be, the more fulfilled you tend to be, the more connected with yourself you tend to be. Because what keeps you from connecting to another is what also keeps you from connecting with yourself. So remember what's at the end of the rainbow. Focus on where you're going rather than the uncomfortableness of where you may be. Allow the stories that are keeping it in the uncomfortable realm to just kind of float by. Don't hold on to them. Don't be upset if you can't let go of them, but just don't give them as much power. It's like, okay. It's kind of like listening to someone and, you know, not necessarily believing them and not necessarily wanting to challenge them. It's just like, okay, that's interesting. You don't have to believe it. You don't have to take it in. You don't have to allow it to make you feel even more uncomfortable. Because generally the energy is just raw and powerful and confusing because it's not something you really can understand in the third dimension, in the physical realm. It's fifth dimensional work you're doing. It's from the other realms that you're working on. So you're not going to necessarily understand them. You're just going to experience them. And the more you can sit and breathe and bring in that pure divine source energy and fill that spiritual need 
with the pure divine source energy that's abundant and available to all of us. All we have to do is breathe and focus it. All right. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. I hope you have a spectacular day.